Hey everyone, welcome back. Well, doesn't it figure I recorded the video? Well, I thought I did. Did a good recording, didn't mess it up. I go to check, I never recorded it. Ugh. Anyways, take two. In this video, I'm going over how to do cutter comp. And in my previous video, I uh, talked about manually writing compensation as far as when you're doing a chamfer. If you're not using cutter comp and you're using a tool that has a radius bit, you have to do a compensation value. So in that video, that, that's where all this nonsense is. So I'm not going to really talk about it too much in this one. I'm just going to explain what cutter comp would do if you decide not to do all this. So, okay. In my other videos, I ran through all this stuff, kind of, as far as like how I write programs. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on that in this video because I'm trying not talk for over 10 minutes and just ramble on. I'm trying to shorten them a little bit. So, I'll put the links in the description box as far as going through explain a lot of that stuff so in this I'm gonna go through it but I'll go through it kinda of quick so what we're doing our turret is over here so we're gonna yeah let me do it this way we're gonna come in wrap it in we're gonna wrap it down and we're gonna do a light skim cut we're gonna wrap it out a little bit now we're going to set up cutter comp, face into the part, come up, do a chamfer, come across, come out, wrap it up, wrap it home, call it done. Okay, so let's see how we write it. So uh, we got our machine defaults, which was explained before. Um, my notes, I always write notes in parentheses. Uh, in this, say we're using tool one, offset one so you write T101 uh, what the tool is as far as uh, the holder and the insert and that's all in parentheses uh, and this is a G50 which tells me that I don't want the spindle to go over 3000 RPMs so G50 S3000 uh, we have to turn on the spindle so G97 S500 M03 spindle forward and uh, now we're going to wrap it from home to Z.01 which is 10 thousandths in front of our G54 plane which we're calling this line right here and I'm turning on constant surface speed G96 S700 which that can vary I'm just figuring aluminum it could be faster but for now it's I just threw that on there. And we're doing an M8 or M08 for having the coolant turn on. Now I'm going to wrap it down to X2.250. In this example, I'm going to say this stock was 2 and 1 8. So which would be 2 and, or I'll rephrase that, 2.125. Now we're going to do a feed move. We're going to feed X negative 062 because we're going past center line, and that was explained in the previous video why you do that, at a feed rate of 8 thousandths per revolution. That could vary. You can go faster or slower. That's just a general starting. And uh, let's see here. We're going to wrap it 1 8 in front of the part. Do you have to go that far? Not really. Um, when I'm setting up cutter comp, I like to be safe. So now, we're going to feed to Z0. All you have to do, wrong marker, we're going to write a G42. And that is the code for cutter comp. And when you're, when you're setting up your geometry, so say we go to your tool offset page, 
in geometry you have your x value already stored and your z value there should be tabs one labeled a radius tab and I believe it says tool tool tip I can't remember off the top of my head so in the radius tab you're gonna put 0 0.0312 and that's whatever you're using for tooling and then on your tab that says tool tip it'll mean tool tip direction nine times out of ten you're gonna put oops man sorry pretty sloppy okay so you have to have those values in there when using cutter comp so as we turn on cutter comp and when you manually when you manually use compensation values it's not hard to do it's just a little more time consuming whereas the more comfortable I got I use cutter comp all the time so all I had to do because I wanted a 30,000 chamfer and we're doing a 45 degree angle so you're going to be doing 30 thousandths on your Z direction and remember when you're doing X you have to double that so you're going to do 60 thousandths so if we have two inch diameter that we want to cut subtract 60 thousandths you're going to get 1.940 so we're going to feed up to X 1.940 eight thousandths per revolution now we're going to feed up to X 2.0 at 30 thousandths on your yeah, Z negative 30 thousandths. So now we're coming up this way. Now we're just going to go Z negative 2.0. So we're going to go two inches in. That's just for this demonstration. And we're going to feed out. Now we're going to come off the part X 2.25. And I'm going to have the coolant turn off. I want to make sure I'm off the part far enough because when you have cutter comp on it's still calculating the value as far as your X so I want to make sure I'm far enough off the part and that's that's safe now I'm going to wrap it up to 10 inches of, from center line on my X plane and that, that can vary depending on your machine and uh, I'll explain that in a minute. So in this, I'm going to put my G40. And that cancels cutter comp. So getting back to this, that I never um, usually wrap it all the way home with my X axis. I will get it close, but not all the way. But as you're starting out as a beginner I would highly suggest you go all the way up and back far enough until you're comfortable and as you get more advanced you're going to probably keep your tour closer so in this example I'm just going up 10 inches and back 10 inches right here Z 10 inches from my G54 and I'm having the spindle turn off M05 and M30 which stops the program and rewinds it back to the top so that's uh, that's pretty much about it so color comp all you have to do is just enter the values and let let it figure it out because some days you're just like I just don't want to mess with it I'm just gonna write it in color comp and be done with it I appreciate you guys stopping by again thanks so much and be sure to check out my other videos I'll link them in the description and uh, okay take care we'll see you again